once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, there were two wolf brothers living in their home lair with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. That's when the big brother discovered that the little one was not an ordinary wolf, but a super wolf. And then they worked together to learn how to use his power and to follow the rules for them. They discovered a secret hideout where they could train day and night. They were happy. But the little wolf got very sick, so they had to move on. On the way, a deadly predator attacked them. But they scared it away. They decided to journey to the home of their nearby ancestors to seek help. Finally, the tired and hungry brothers made it to the home of their ancestors. The old wolves invited them to stay. They even took care of them. They were happy to have a safe, warm place to rest. The little wolf even made friends with a raccoon, and together they went on awesome adventures. Unfortunately, hunters were hot on their trail and found them. But the tiny raccoon helped the brothers escape and got badly hurt. The brothers had nowhere to stay again, so they decided to keep going south to the distant homeland of their papa wolf. No way, you little shit. Daniel, get your ass over here now. <sighs> He's so busted. Man, I suck at perspective. I should take a class. Oh, 
man. Dad would fucking kill me if he found this. So he better not find it. Shit. I can't wait for the show with the whole crew. How did I get Lila to talk me into this shit? So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Lila keeps hooking me up with birthday gifts. She's more excited than I am. I hope they don't expect me to remember all this when school starts. So much bullshit. But I got phone and party bills now. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Of course. Like, I want to play fucking hide-and-seek. Hmm. Isn't Daniel too old for bedtime stories? Who would have thought playing Minecraft would get him back to his blocks? I got this for a girl in the 8th grade, but I chickened out. I used to play with these at Ellery's. Man, I feel old. Gift from Lila. <laughs> Daniel never got so close to proposing to her. Man. My brother's a little player. Lila loves it. Ooh, Dad confiscated the play box after that. Daniel was a total rage ball. Did this for Daniel's birthday. He was so happy with it. So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24-7. This thing is so cheap and ugly. I love it. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. What is he making with all that crap? Hmm. 
They're probably gonna bury me in this thing. Wish I had more time to play. Unless we're summer school. Sucks to be Daniel, but he can't bug me all the time. I would have been pissed if I was there. <sighs> Asshole. be anywhere. Oh, Sorry, Andrew. I'm the free babysitter now. Daniel is psyched, but I'd rather just go with Lila and the crew. Whoa, hold on. Let go! S stop it! Dude, I told you to stay out of my room. Ow! That hurt! Yeah, I'm not fucking around anymore. Got it? Do you hear me, Daniel? You shall not enter your brother's room. Watch out, man! You started it, dickhead! What is this crap? Are you fighting again? You proud of yourself? Stop it! Enough! Getting tired of this. Sean, what happened? Now! Dad, I told him not to come so into my room. He never listens. He hit me and broke the trophy. He's lying. He always does that when he gets busted. Little shit. Enough! <sighs> you both better listen because I'm tired of this crap. Okay? This is my house too. Not your playground. You hear me? Jeez. You guys are working my last nerve this week. You okay, mijo? I'm going to talk with your brother. You know the drill. Bedroom and no games. I didn't do anything! Uh-huh. Let's talk. Oh, now. This is so stupid! It's bullshit! Okay. You really taught that book a lesson. You done? Hmm? Whatever. Like you're gonna believe me. Daniel's always right. Look. Please? <sighs> Listen, Sean. I can't do this on my own. I... I can't. I need you to help me. I know you don't want to babysit Daniel. You grow up, you need space, more freedom. I get it. But we're a trio now, and you gotta take some responsibility. That little shit is just a kid. You're almost an adult. I know that, and I do look out for him, I swear. But he's a little brat. So were you. And you had eight years of being spoiled before you had to share toys with your little brother. I know it might sound cheesy, but we have to be good role models for him. He's a Diaz, right? Okay, 
I hear you. I'll try to be super bro. Just try to be there for him. Like you are now. <laughs> says mi hijo. I'm late for work. Go talk to your brother and work this drama out. We'll go to the movies tonight if you guys don't wreck the house. I know you love to hear this. But I'm proud of you. Both of you. Okay. Get back to work. Need to put on the patch I bought last week. Scored it at the skate park last week. Now I need to sew it on. Pat thinks I'll stop skating if I get a car when I turn 16. Wrong. Can I come in? It's the big, bad brother. No! Stay out! I said no! Get out! Whatever! I'm not listening! La 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 la! I come don't on, hear anything! Dude. La 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 la! Hey, Daniel. Leave me alone. Come on. Look, I'm sorry, man. No, you're not. Oh, please. I don't want to talk to you. Too bad we didn't have a clue she hated all of us. And don't touch my stuff. Oh, you kept this guy. We got him from that creepy circus, remember? You wanted him so bad. Got him for you shooting at that freaking target. Yeah, right. Dad, aim the gun. So what? You still won. Because of me. <sighs> Leave me alone! Sean, I'm gonna tell on you. I mean... So lucky Noah lives downtown. Else they'd drive me crazy 24 7. Damn. Haven't seen you in forever. That made me give this to you. You always wanted my toys. Does this even work anymore? Not after you took care of it. Poor robot. No battery. Duh. Why are you still here?
Just leave me alone. Hey, that's cool. Did you make it? Be careful. <laughs> Whoa. It's fragile. No problem. Suddenly, you're Mr. Careful. <sighs> okay, if I sit down. <sighs> so, when did you get this? Last month. Dad said I should learn to do stuff by myself, since you're not around as much. Hey, come on. It's not like I'm leaving home. You might as well. I never see you. We don't even play games anymore. We don't do anything. Daniel, I just... I want to hang out with my friends sometimes. You're gonna be doing the same thing in a couple of years. Hi. I don't want to grow up. It's boring. Here. Sorry I took it. That's what you wanted? That stupid watch? You said you'd get me one. At the thrift store last week. But you forgot. Like before. Well, you better keep this watch then. Wow! Thanks, Sean! This is so cool! I'll keep it forever and ever. <sighs> Man, Beaver Creek feels so far away. Still can't believe we ran into the guys again. Talk about fucking fate. Hmm. Yep. I'm a real man now. Kind of. Bad head. Had a good sleep? Oh. Hi, uh. Yeah, I, I did. Thanks. Nice. Okay. I better hit the shower before they use all the water. Right. See you around. Hey, Sean. Breakfast time. Got 
how to have backup signs. Jeez. She's way messier than me. It's hard to believe. That girl is even more of a sleepyhead than I am. It's a mystery how Finn can be so messy and strong at the same time. Glad somebody's getting some action. I thought I liked weed, but this guy's on a whole nother level. I always spot him reading in the morning. Like he isn't cool enough already. Finn told me a bit more about train hopping. His map is like his Bible. Weird to see him younger. Finn looks so... innocent. Ah, can't tag a train without paint. Glad to see somebody has Finn's back. Yeah, like you don't get pet enough around here. I've looked enough. Time to draw now.
It's nice to sit here together at night. Like we're a part of something. I'm not quite sure who Penny is. He's so out there. Hannah's so private about her life. Plus, she probably hates my guts. Did you see all that fog earlier? It creeps me out. I don't know what's inside. These guys have top gear. Wish I did. Shoot, what's the date today? Is it the 15th or 16th? Yo, man, what's up, Jake? Smart. Hey, Sean. Not much. Yeah, what do you got going on there? Uh, this is a birthday card for my little sister. <laughs> Don't laugh. Aw, that's cute. How old is she? She's nine years old now. <laughs> like Daniel. Do you miss her? I probably miss her the most. I'm kind of jealous you get to hang out with your brother all the time. But I, I bet it's hard to be his brother and father figure. Yeah, just ask Daniel. He's nine going on 14. He's so tired of me right now. Ah, kids. Just ignore him and he'll be all over you. Hey, since you're such a pro big bro, what's a good way to end this letter? Goodbye sounds a bit lame, right? Well, what is she into? Like anime or video games? Uh, puppies? She has a pet chicken named Alexander. Sarah loves that thing, but it creeps me out. <laughs> <laughs> Why not draw a creepy portrait of Alexander? Good idea. It'll match my <laughs> chicken scratch perfectly. Anyway, thanks for your help, Sean. I gotta finish this before I get ready for work. Don't want to be late or Big Joe will eat me for lunch. You and me both. See you later, Jake. Sean, thanks again, man. <sighs> My turn. Gotta stock up the shower and kitchen later tonight. Wish it rained more. Nice to get fresh free water. Killed for something like this back in that freezing house in Oregon. We went swimming there a couple of times. Fucking cold, but fucking awesome. Gotta get my coffee on before I go anywhere. We shower, like, once or twice a week. Gives us more time to chill, right? <laughs> Living large and humble. I do love these trees, ancient and majestic.
Daniel keeps reading it, again and again. I told him not to count on her. He won't listen. Hmm. Guess he doesn't care about it anymore. I just hope Chris is okay after that car. We used to have big rooms. Now all our stuff fits in a bag. Another month, and we'll be hooked up for Mexico. Gotta get my coffee on before I go anywhere. Coffee time, Sean. Man, grab something and sit your ass down. Coffee out in the wild is the best coffee. Period. What? You hear that? Um, I heard nothing, Penny. Mm, maybe it was the coffee brewing. Never mind. You can't hear? Only me. I don't understand. Why? How you miss all those insects? How the fuck? The swarm is coming. You mean bugs? I haven't seen many flying bugs. Not in the winter, at least. Sean. Sean. Narcs, stealth drones, all that shit. Wake up, boy. Look up. You saw them? When? How? Because vision shine, they watching us now. That would be shit for me and Anders to lose the job. The cash is good for us to travel. So, then, where's your next pit stop? We want to see all the cowboys in Austin. But we spent too much money so far. Traveling is expensive. Depends how you travel. I mean, look at us. Kush gear. Not when they legalize that shit. Then you can work legal on the farm, right? Not if the government steps in. Then the pigs, pill pushers, all bad. It's legal in Washington, and it's worked out okay. It's gonna be legal everywhere, soon anyway. Legal but controlled. By who? The bitches who made it against the law. Yay, freedom! I don't know. Things have to change. Oh, um... Did anybody see Daniel? I haven't seen him this morning. I saw him walking with Finn. They were headed to the lake. Thanks, Ingrid. I... better see what he's up to. Tell him no swimming. That lake is toxic, man. Nasty. I keep thinking you're Dutch. Yep. I'm up for some heavy barrel lifting tonight. Yay. <laughs> because we... Where from again? Sweden. Malmö. 
You wouldn't hear about it. Weird we didn't see any bears. With all that trash lying around. Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the- Uh... I think you forgot something, Sean. You gonna make some more coffee, right? Yeah. Been working for three years in a coffee shop to pay for the trip. Oh, that shit was worth it. Oh yeah. Good times. Those guys sure know how to live outdoors. Like never see everything. They taught me so much already. You did. Gotta ride with us, right? You saw the real shit. True. <sighs> I will miss you too, Penny. Most of them are into fancy hippie food. And fast food junk. Oh, uh, sorry. My bad. Yeah. Not your coffee, boy. We share. Always. Water is kind of rare around here. Everything goes into the plantations. That was dope! What's up, guys? Morning target practice? Six bullseyes in a row. Kid is a fucking ninja! Hey, we didn't want to wake your sleepy ass up. Yeah, thank you for that. You okay, Daniel? Hey. Seriously, I've never seen anyone throw like that. Wow. Finn trained you well. Six bullseyes, dude? Yeah. I got better. Lucky. You can't throw a baseball without hitting me in the nuts. How did you learn to aim so good? Not true, liar. You're the one who sucks at baseball. Yeah, right. Hey, wow. What's up with you two? I should have let you know, but, but I'm watching him like a hawk. Seriously, much respect. He's like my own blood. And not that I'm as hot or cool as his big bro. Yo, Sean. Idea. I want to see if Daniel inherited the family blade skills from you. How about a little demo? It was my turn. Come on. Let's give the man a chance. Okay. Yeah. I'll take a shot. Come on, Sean. Show us your talents. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Sean. Hold your right arm. More like this. Better alignment. Better aim. 
Won't really help. Dude, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Come on, sweetie, one more time. I know you can do it. Be zen, Sean. That's the secret. <laughs> oh, fuck that! <laughs> Missed. See, I rule. <laughs> Sorry, Sean. You're not a ninja. But you're still cool. Just ask your brother for help next time. <laughs> yeah. What would I do without him? Hey, don't look at me. It's not my fault if he can't throw. Woo! After that workout, I need some more fucking Java. Wait! Don't go yet. Uh, it's all good, Daniel. We can practice later. Yeah, if it's cool with <laughs> Big Brother. <laughs> Love you, man. What now? Daniel, I can't believe you cheated. What? What do you mean? Come on. Don't play dumb. You're showing off in front of Finn. You want him to find out? Finn is cool. He wouldn't tell anybody. You don't know that. You're gonna get busted, Inano. You need to listen to me. Stop calling me that! I'm not a kid anymore! Daniel, don't... Why? See? Stop, Daniel. Now! Or what? I said stop, Daniel! Don't run me! Uh, uh. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be that hard. I'm okay. It's fine. I told you. You're good. But you don't have control over your powers yet. We stopped training since we got here. You'd rather hang out with your new friends. Well, because we need to fit in if we want to keep that job, okay? But you're right. Let's, um, do some training later today. Cool? Yeah. Let's go by the lake again. But, Sean, how long are we going to stay here? It's been like a month. I know, but we need more money to get to Puerto Lobos. Remember? It's gonna take forever. You should try and find Mom. Since we have her letter now. We already had this conversation. Sorry, Daniel, but we can't. We don't even know where Karen really is. And we can't risk getting caught we're looking for her. She's one of the reasons we're out here. That's why we're going down to Mexico. How come I never get to choose? I'm the one with the power. I hear you. It's not fair, but you're my brother. My responsibility. I have to take care of you. I know, but I'm not gonna be a kid forever. Finn treats me like an adult. He understands. Uh oh. Big Joe. Hey. You don't wear your watch anymore? What? Oh. Nah. I put this on instead. Finn gave it to me. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah. Pretty cool. Hey, Daniel. Remember what I said. Low profile. <sighs> yeah. Okay. We're cool. I don't like working on a farm. I know. It could be way worse. We're making cash, Inano. Okay, okay. 
wish we could check on Chris. Just see if he's okay. We will, Daniel, when we're safe and far away. I know. I had fun playing hide and seek last night, especially in the dark. You weren't scared at all? <laughs> Come on. Not with Finn. We had the best hiding spot. Sit here, my man. I need a bodyguard like you. Cool. Tell Sean to give me a knife. <laughs> Mind if I sit here? Sure. <laughs> Why so serious? Uh. Nothing. Just thinking. Cool. I'm always worried about my city boy. Everyone here? This isn't a fucking school bus. We're late. 